Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to start on G.I. Joe Classified Helix. Depending on which version of continuity you are learning from Helix, there is two IDW continuities, a movie continuity as well, and then probably going to be a, a slight revamp depending on the, the video game. So yeah, there's a bunch of different versions. But I am going to go by the one that I enjoy the most, which is going to be the Hama IDW stuff, as well as the Origin slash Reboot Universe IDW stuff. So yeah, that's the one that I am like. But I gotta say, I really like this figure, but I do have one grab in the midsection where I wish that it did have the deeper ab crunch considering she's supposed to be a ninja or ninja adjacent, can, you know, cause she's like a supercomputer. to basically read and track movements as well as copy. Still a great figure though. I just really wanted it to be that super ninja compatible version. Now, our arms can go up. Obviously we can hit that T pose, right? You hit it with little to no issue. I also really like this face sculpt as it reminds me a little bit closer of the, the Natho Diaz art and silent option. We have, we still can actually turn really well, which is great for articulation, right? We also have that lower ab movement. Like I said, it just does not crunch forward the way I would like, but I'm betting that I can mod that out. I'm really betting that I can. We also have a bicep swivel. We are pinless across the board. Well, pinless arms. I thought we were pinless legs, but I didn't even notice that until now. But we do have pinless arms. And mines are still solid because we are still fresh out of the box. I was so excited to review this because I really love Helix. So I want to team her up with Throwdown, a.k.a. Kamakura, a.k.a. Sean. <laughs> so, and we do have a beautiful butterfly joint that goes backwards and forwards. So crossing the arms is not really possible, but it does get close enough to get like the two-handed sword pose, which is still a plus. We still have the mighty drop down on the legs. We can get the legs 90 degrees. We are double jointed. We do have boot swivel as well. And we have the super generous Hasbro ankle pivot. So again, you can be posed up with no issue. So the belt swings around, but as you can see here, doing weird and wacky moves won't be an issue but if you want to get a posed up like in stance i don't think it's going to be an issue to make her get posed up really cool as you can see here she does look really good posed up that's always a plus so that means doing like behind like behind the scenes like you're hiding behind something right as you can see here she'll look really cool doing a high flying jump kick let's test that out yeah actually still pretty solid so yeah i i think that pairing her with ninjas or against ninjas especially if you're going based off the silent option story with firefly in it i don't see any issues here she can look up she can look down Oh, and by the way, these are on vertical hinges for her wrist. So yeah, I think solid entry into it. But then again, my bias is showing because I really love that we're getting characters that I enjoy. But then again, I probably enjoy most characters of G.I. Joe. I'm a big fan of it. So I kind of like every character. That's my bias. Accessory wise, it does not feel light for her. I feel like it works for what they have going for her. So you will get a pair of katanas. In case you didn't watch any sort of G.I. Joe live stream, <laughs> right? You will get a pair of katanas. They come out. And these are a repaint of what you get with both Kamakura and uh, Storm Shadow. I believe the Arctic. No, regular Storm Shadow and Retro. These are going to plug into the back. So you'll have these on. Then you will get two handguns, which have you can have holsters on the side for these. So the handgun's actually pretty cool. They have extended magazines. And they have a hole for blaster effects. We're actually gonna place these on the side. The extended magazines are a plus because that's very much Helix prepping for any and everything in any scenario. And then reloading like a boss. <laughs> and like it pokes out, but uh, I'm pretty much not against that. It probably allows her to grab it a little bit easier. All right. Then we have a machete. How she uses the machete, maybe like a boomerang. You don't know. She's prepped for everything. 
And then we have these tools that feel like it's something out of cyberpunk with these extended mechanical claws. These are dope because these have a hinge that can come out like this and retract. So when you add those onto her arm here, these are soft plastic, by the way, so they'll attach pretty easily. You'll actually get two of them as well, just in case you're wondering. Again, <laughs> all this stuff is presented way before I review it. So I'm doing this strictly because you know I want to take pictures of it. <laughs> and here we are, like loaded up. Because we have that bicep so when, Like I said, these can extend out or retract or just look really cool, like reverse bladed. It. So it all depends on how you want to do it and how you want to make her look. But I am 100% here for it right oh wait there's like something on the back of item for to be holstered on the back i don't know i have to check now oh for the machete wow, there we go so if you want to place your machete in so now you actually do have a place to store everything see i would have not known that i had to take a double look so this is 100 percent what i'm here for <laughs> like this looks like a solid release if you don't know who helix is or you just want a cool character that looks cool or you want the accessories from her, this is going to be for you. If you are a guy who likes uh, top secret classified shenanigans and want to use this character for any and everything, it's probably going to be for you. But again, if you aren't reading the Hama G.I. Joe stuff, or at least read the miniseries Silent Option, I totally think that you should give it a try. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, but you can't say you didn't try it. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out some G.I. Joes so we can check on some size comparisons, and uh, we'll get to it. See you guys in a bit. Now, as we jump into the size comparison, I'm going to back up just a tad bit, right? Get some free focus. Let's get started with some jokes. Uh, first, let's do Zorana, right? Do you want to compare it to Zorana? Well, I mentioned earlier in the video about the torso. Or do I remember it just saying it in my brain? But here is Zorana. Zorana is actually a little bit bigger, which I'm totally fine with. It's one of those things where I like them being different sizes and different shapes. I feel like Zorana, despite the arm issues, probably has the best torso design. As it allows her to get a very good ab crunch. You can see it just it goes a little bit deeper. That allows for better movement. Alright. Next up we're going to compare to some other Joes. So <clears throat> if you've read the silent option. It's part of the reason why I'm like really enjoying having Helix. Because I get to use characters like Torpedo with her. As well as the throwdown version of Snake Eyes. Which in my eyes this sculpt actually fits the throwdown version right i'm gonna probably swap them out with some different gear and as you can see they are all different sizes i do like that right only thing left we needed for the team now is don moreno bomb strike and alpine which i'm super excited i'm hoping those guys come soon then we can compare with other like let's say you want a more classic snake eyes this one is modified but this in it still fits with all the theme in the gear then we have a firefly v2 all right as you can see showing off those different sizes next up we can compare to a range viper so you can get some cobra goodness in there right and then we can do an arashikage red ninja so the red ninjas are about the same size as the snake eyes but just in case you want to visualize let's say you can't do it next up we're going to compare some other lines right so here we are with a Grey Ninja from Fouche Toys. These guys are a bit smaller, but they do range out a little bit better with her. Then we have a Marvel Legends Electra Daredevil, aka just Daredevil. But for those of you that need to be clarified, here we are. They actually look like a real good size with each other. Only slightly taller. Now we're going to get into some Velivere stuff. So here we are with a female body. And I chose... And why did I forget her name just now? I had a complete brain fart, and I hate when it happens. As well as a male body character, so you can see the sizes between these guys. I think mixing and matching these lines is a ton of fun, as you get to actually get a basis for what you want. You got your, if you want a generic, more militarized, and if you want character and subtlety, where you can like make your own characters, this is definitely going to be how it works for you. Last but not least, here's our main man, Ichigo on a Mezco Gomez body, always making cameos from here until the end of time, and the return of my main man Kuga from SH Figure Arts, in case you want to size these boys up. All right. Gotta say, very happy with how Helix turned out. 
do want the torso to cut a bit deeper so I'm probably gonna get another one so I can modify it but as far as the look and just bringing her to a toy I really feel like we're in a good spot with the figure hoping to get some cool G.I. Joe action out of it hope you guys enjoy the photos at the end so as always thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking through the video and for those of you to skip to the end please enjoy the pretty pictures as always please be good do good drink your water guys Bye.